Hello Gemini, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot. I'm sorry about last time. I did do, redo the reading, um, but now I, I hope I don't sound like a man. And I've got a new earphone. I think the old earphones were too old. I've had them for about 20 years. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, never mind. So, I'm using the Archangel uh, Power Deck and the Lenamon and this this is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday this is the overall uh, uh, energy so remember this is a general reading and it's food for thought and I hope I motivate you and support you by giving you a reading each week and if you're a new member then I hope you uh, will enjoy the reading. I do go live uh, Monday, uh, Wednesday and Friday for free cards. But this week I'm doing a special. I'm going live for every zodiac sign and having a question and discussion time. With regards to the reading of the uh, week, uh, last week that I posted this week's. This is for the 20th to the 27th of April and we're going into Taurus. Doesn't time fly? Okay, so if you've got somebody in the family that is a Taurus, I hope you will have a wonderful time. I'm also using Ina Seagull's uh, color cards and I'm using Diana Virtue um, cards and also the Romance of the Angel and Answers of the uh, angels and this deck is by um, Paola Burberry and this is the Gemini card so in each reading you can also see where uh, what reading it is so you definitely know that this is the Gemini card you can find more information below this video and uh, if you need an extensive uh, reading I'll be pleased and honored to do so for you just get send me an email or go to the website just in the on this white dot here with the eye they you if you click on that then it will take you straight through to the website excuse me um, so uh, to begin oh yes on I'm going on I'm going live on Friday and Saturday it depends um, I don't know yet whether I'll do three signs together one after the other or I will do one uh, sign separately from the other then take a break and then come back and do another uh, three signs okay just keep an eye out on my Facebook for when I go live on Friday and Saturday and which signs and uh, because it's going to be a long haul for me and I hope I can do it well because uh, I don't want to let anybody down and I hope you have written down your questions or your suggestions from last week's readings. I would love to hear your uh, uh, point of view. I'm open to positive, uh, uh, positive uh, comments. Okay, I'm sorry if I uh, I stutter sometimes, but most of you know also why. Uh, sometimes I've talked too much and I've already made five videos and this is going to be the sixth because I want to get these done before the weekend because I'll be busy on Friday and Saturday so first of all we've got a wonderful card you can see it's the rainbow the heaven and earth are connected uh, already today because I am taping this on Thursday and you've got the nine of Ariel so that's the nine of coins so you're there is an ending an ending to difficulties and you're going into a better time look at her charging and here you can see the wings of uh, a dove peace peace is returning and you can see the life tree the tree of life have a look i hope you can see it it's on the banner so the nine of coins of course ariel is the nine of coins so something is coming in and something is ending this could also be that somebody an earth sign could come in so that's a, a Virgo Capricorn and a Taurus and the at the bottom of the card it says your dreams are fulfilled hard work leads to great success 
a love for the beautiful things in life. Yes, I do have love for beautiful things in life, mainly animals and children, my children. But there is also a warning if you are getting promoted or if you are getting a new job, then read the small print in uh, the contract because there is a snake in the grass. But the snake also sheds his skin every six weeks. So six might be imminent and Gemini we are the sixth month. So we've really got a six six. So uh, that could be meaning that the angels are here. Not six six six, alright? We've got two sixes. So this the snake you can also see on medical emblems and on barbers. Uh, on uh, on their parking tickets. In the olden days the snake was also a health sign. So there could be something underlying with your health. So be careful. Okay. And I've got to put them like that because I haven't got much room on this table and I have got still got some daylight left. On Wednesday we have the Four of Raphael. Oh, oh, you might be bored, you might be too much in your head. Because Raphael represents the cups, you can see that she's sitting on the beach. So you can see the water and the four of cups means boredom or too much in your head. But usually in the traditional tarot, it's, uh, it also shows a hand coming out of the clouds. That is the divine offering you a chance of something. So that could be the new job. Okay, something that you didn't expect perhaps. Perhaps that is the snake in the grass or a promotion. Because they're short staffed and they're promoting you because you are there and you're doing a good job. So have a look around you, not just in front of you. Because there's more happening behind the scenes. Okay, seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. Oh, you've got the birds. You've got the birds. There's going to be meetings. There's going to be gatherings. There could be cyber m uh, meetings, cyber gatherings. There could be conferences, presentations. Okay, the birds means also news. So you might have been for a job interview, so you will be getting news. This could also be official news. Be aware of gossip. Somebody might have left the group or the coop. Now the coop, that's a name of a hen house. So that rhymed very well. And when I was learning the cards, this was my little um, note uh, for the birds. Um, and so I could remember somebody left the next nest. So somebody like a teenager might be leaving the nest and there might be an offer from somebody, a friend or a relative uh, to take them in because they are living near the college or near where they're going to work. Okay, that could be it. So have a look. On Friday, ooh, you've got the king the king of swords and the king of swords also represents Gemini so that could be you Gemini or it could be an other Gemini that you will be meeting or could be offering you the job and the king of Gemini means justice okay it means justice is wise he can communicate no like no other he will fight till death and he'll cut straight through the core and he doesn't take any BS. He will fight on your behalf. If you are in judicial, if you are in judicial situations, he's like a lawyer, a judge. He's like an advocate. He's a butcher, because the sword cuts at both times. So a lot of vocations are like surgeons, butchers. Uh, advocates, municipalities, because he also stands for justice, clarity, honesty. 
so he might be judging you or you might be judging somebody else but if you're in a judicial situation and your advocate is a Gemini or a Libra or an Aquarium they will fight to get to the truth they cut straight through to the core and cut the BS and get the clarity you deserve and the justice and also um, the person that d has done you wrong if you're not hooked up then you might be meeting one of the other air signs but predominantly the king of swords Michael in this case is Gemini so you could meet your uh, soulmates or your equivalent be careful there is somebody untrustworthy so you might need a Gemini or a Libra or an Aquarian to fight on your behalf because the fox is sly he sheds his fur but not his tricks remember that it could be anybody it could be anybody around you okay from all the signs even Gemini Libra or Aquarius and he's very sly he'll never change his tricks that's the negative side of the fox he's analytical he's precise he'll take his time and then jump on his prey but the fox can also mean work being precise at work being detailed at work working very hard being clear because he looks very precise and clear he gets to the core to get things done on d on time he has to meet deadlines perhaps and you can do it okay so if you have an issue with work and you need justice then you need to seek advice and perhaps you might be the one that's helping somebody at work with this okay powerful stuff now you have the on at the weekend you have the seven of Ariel what you seven of Pentacles what you sow you shall reap so if you have sown beautiful seeds positive seeds then they will be blooming okay awesome oh sorry I forgot to read the bottom of the card it's the second time I've done that okay wisdom and objectivity are important now stay in your integrity a situation that calls for honest and open communication like I said you might be um, have to communicate clearly for somebody else but also for yourself so let them know that you are clear and precise and show them that you can meet that deadline because there might be a promotion like I said because you've got the nine of uh, Ariel nine of Pentacles there might be a promotion on the horizon now the seven of Ariel you have invested wisely have patience and wait for the harvest review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor yes you might have to review so get clarity get your lawyer or your bookkeeper to give you advice on your investment now you have the fish you can work well in groups luck is on your side you can there's luck in business and at work like I said there might be a promotion so stay in form and right on top of everything know your boundaries tell them your boundaries and let the third party know that your boundaries so long you know yours okay the overall energy is Empiphany the Archangel Raziel this is the hermit and the hermit stands for meditation spirituality that's psychic ability or intuitive or deja vu things like that meditation contemplation evaluation and again evaluate review your progress so take time out to review your progress or your plans at <coughs> excuse me your plans at hand or issues 
take your time out it might mean that you have to take a retreat or a couple of days off um, to see, to think over the contract wow that's amazing because you've got the snake think about it get advice get clarity that's really mind-blowing even for myself I know I'm a Gemini but I don't look at the cards before I start you know and you've got Archangel Raziel so ask him to help you joy through spiritual growth be a light to others answer that come answers that come from through meditation or contemplation being quiet and thinking taking time out to think the overall energy Gemini is the Lotus and that is also in other decks the lily <coughs> sorry <coughs> the Lotus means luck at work luck in business you might seek advice from a mature man boom there you are here he is and here he is the king is mature as well seeking advice from a father figure or a professional this is amazing no you have luck in business so don't worry so long you take your time and you get the right answers and you've done the research it will be fine luck is on your side and look what is underneath the lily the Sun new beginnings moving home being in the spotlight and also something is being illuminated so you need more information so these cards are, are so much alike now you've got per, uh, peach breathe in life breathe in life and you've got number 19 so 1 and 9 is a 10 and a 10 is an ending new beginnings you can wear peach you can eat peach this will help you to get your stress levels down and detox and your romantic card is romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring there will be recovery in other words justice will be done I hope you have enjoyed this reading Gemini I love you loads and I hope to see you in the life uh, I know it might be hard for some of you because you're at different parts of the world but I'll try to be there uh, ASAP and I will think about the time I will consider that uh, so I might start off at 12 o'clock in the morning so that will be 6 o'clock in the morning for some people in America and Canada because there's a six hour difference so I think that's much wiser that will get me prepared to do uh, some other readings because I've just worked up to Gemini and it's getting dusk now so that's why you see the cards becoming golden and uh, just take that as a good sign so I hope you've enjoyed this reading take care be blessed and I hope to see you in the live uh, session discussion and question sessions and I'm, I'm I'm dying to hear what your suggestions are or your questions and of course there will be time afterwards for personal questions and I will be giving readings to all those um, that have donated to the channel either through in the life or uh, before I go live in PayPal. Take care and I love you all. Please share and like. Ciao, ciao.